our DS for life. Fifth of the Givers is a disaster relief organization which is the biggest on the African continent. We've been around for 21 years. Today we are here in South Africa in Alexandra because of a disaster that happens every year on the Yekske River where people's homes are continuously flooded. We are here today because we're moving people from the shacks into their homes. Homes which is a place of safety, security, and I think it will give back dignity to these people. There are 70 families that's going to benefit from these homes and today we're moving in 35 families. We've been in this area for over seven years now and every year we get called out into Alexandra to the Yekske River for the same thing and that is to respond to floods at the Yekske River. And what's happening now, as we're moving people in here, we're demolishing their homes where they were staying in so that nobody else can move in there because it's a danger to the community and the people of the community as well. <laughs> These homes are secure in the sense that it's waterproof. It is higher than the XK River, so that the, the, the fact that they will the, the homes won't flood is, is a is a possibility. Also it is fireproof because always we work in fire areas where the homes are too near to each other and um, you get up to 30 to 40 homes burning at a time. But in this case, we've built it with special material that will take up to a half an hour before it starts burning. I manage it, I feel safe. Everybody here that's moving in today is very, very excited. Yeah, so far as you can see now when the people moving, they are very, very happy. Yo, when you're cool. Well, there was definitely lots of challenges. That's why it took so long for people to move in from the from the from the date that it was launched because um, there was things like the gas that we needed to secure and make it safe for people. Houses consist of each number from one to seventy, and each one got in the food parcel. We provide them with a food parcel. We provide them with uh, a bed, a new bed blankets, linen, curtains, crockery, pots, uh, all the basics. We require a food parcel for a whole month. We provide community or kitchen for them uh, with 70 stoves inside there. It's all fitted with new stoves and uh, zincs also, seven that side, seven the other side, so it's 14 zincs towards the plate, some tables. Then we provide them also with uh, a building which we divided into two. It's uh, like 10 toilets for gents and 10 for the ladies. And we got also uh, washing tropes where they can wash their clothes inside the bathrooms. To add to this project, we've got a garden that is self-sustainable where we want to teach people to go and plant in this garden where they can sustain their families from, from the garden. And then we've got a playground where kids can go and play in the day under supervision and to keep them safe and secure within this village. The people we they identify to come stay here is not gift that the givers will identify the people. It is the disaster management. They identify the people uh, who's in danger at the river bank. So we were just building the houses for them, but we can decide who must stay in the houses because we don't know the people, we don't know the area, we were just doing the construction work. I think the excitement is quite high and you can see the appreciation on people's faces. <laughs> Yeah.